Hey everybody, this is Shirley from Bonkers Balloons and More. I thought today that we'd make a uh, teddy bear wrapped around a heart. So I'm using two 60s. Uh, I happen to be using a red one for the heart and I'm going to use a purple one for the teddy bear. So I'm going to blow out <coughs> the red balloon until it's almost completely inflated. And I'm going to let some air out of it. And if it's really, really tight, let a little more air out of it. We want it to be somewhat stern, but not so stern that it can't take any pressure and it's going to pop. Okay? And see how we have just that little bit left over. A tiny bit that's uninflated. Okay? We're going to take this little bit and the nipple where we tied the knot and we're going to tie those two together. Okay? So all we've done is tie them together. That's with this camera. Sorry guys. I'm just trying to get it so you can see it clear enough. Okay? That's all we did. All right, now, we're going to take and hold it at the bottom with the two fingers. And then we're going to come up this way. See, I got my thumb here. And then I'm going to put my other pointer finger here. And all I'm going to do is pull this downward like so. As I'm pulling this down, I'm going to let go of the bottom, <coughs> keeping my middle. It's important to have my middle, okay? And then all I'm going to do is take my finger out of there. Now I'm going to take the middle of this and squeeze. Give it a squeeze. Don't be afraid of it. Okay. Then I'm going to take the sides, one side at a time. I'm going to take this side and I'm going to do this. I want to get some crinkle there. Okay. Then I'm going to do the other side, and I'm going to do the same thing. All right. And now we have successfully made a heart. I'm going to put that aside for now. And then we're going to do the teddy bear. Try put the camera maybe down a little bit. So. I have a 260 purple balloon. I'm using my big curl pump. I'm going to let some air out. I really want to make sure that um, I'm going to have enough space. So I probably leave about uh, this much or so uninflated. Okay. Tie that. Okay. You're gonna, I'm actually now I'm going to back off on that. Now, what I want you to do is if this is really tight, you can pull the balloon, put it against your body, and push. And what will that, that will do is it will send the air further down into this cylinder or balloon, <clears throat> making the balloon a little more pliable, a little more easy to work with. This is driving me insane right here. Let me just clip this. Alright. So, we're going to do the nose. I'm going to do, say, a three finger bubble. And we're going to twist that. All we've done is make a bubble. Okay? Now we need to make a second bubble. Probably about four fingers or so. We want it a little bit bigger than the first bubble we did. Okay. And then the third bubble we're going to do, and usually I try to wait to tell you so I where to put your hands <clears throat> because I've been doing it for years and I have to actually do it to let you know because otherwise I have no idea. I just, I just do it. So you're going to hold the first bubble and the second bubble with your thumb and your pointer finger, okay? You're going to fold down this balloon 
And here, I'm going to twist with my pointer and my middle finger. And I'm going to guess at about two fingers. <clears throat> okay. Then I'm going to switch hands and I'm going to hold these two bubbles against this long balloon because I need to make this a twist. Okay, so I'm going to pull up and twist. Then I need to make another bubble. And I'm going to make it almost as big as that one, but not quite. Okay? Then I'm going to guess again at about a two finger bubble for the next bubble. This is what we've got so far. Got that first bubble, the second bubble, your ant twist, the third bubble, and we're doing another ant twist. Okay? So again, we need to pull up. And now we need to mirror this bubble. So what I want is these two bubbles to be about the same size. And you can kind of eye that. Okay. It's kind of looking like a square. Now I'm going to take these two at this intersection and twist. Okay, now you see what we got happening here? looks like a rectangle with two ears. Okay. Then we're going to take this knot, we're going to back pull it, and then we're going to push the balloon a little bit. And that will elongate this balloon or this bubble. I want you to then open, oh, sorry, open your uh, triangle here and stick that balloon through. Okay. And that is the nose. Okay. Then, we're going to give it a little push. And we want a neck. About a two finger bubble is all you need. And then we're going to do what's called a fold twist. Like so. It doesn't have to be that big. And then we're going to take our hot balloon and we're going to stick our teddy bear's head through it, like so. Well, let's make one more full twist. I think I'm a little worried about maybe possible by my All right. So now we've got <coughs> two hands. Okay, we're going to stick our teddy bear through the hole in the hat, and on the back side of this balloon that's left here, we're going to twist a bubble. You see that? We're going to twist that bubble, the teddy bear through. And then we're going to take, and all we want is just a little, you can put that way down the end where the crease is. What we want in the very end of that bubble is just a small little bubble, okay? The trick part is here is that we need to put that around the balloon, okay? That's all we're doing. We at the bottom of the hat, we're putting this around it and then you're going to twist that little bubble into the back side thus creating this okay. and I'm going to take that bubble and put it in back of the teddy bear Now there's a bunch of ways you can do this. You can do it like this. You can also take <clears throat> one of these fold twists, like the first one, and wrap it around here. 
and have the teddy bear sort of hanging on to the hat from the end here on the outside of the balloon. There's a lot of different variations. If you really like to play with balloons, you just try different stuff and see what you like. Now that's pretty cute in itself. And the little girls absolutely go bonkers over this. If you want to add a little something to it, make it a just a tad more fancy, you want the wow factor, then you can take any color balloon, whatever you want to do. I'll take a yellow one because I happen to think that that will stand out pretty well. I'm going to blow this up. Not much. Back way off on that. That's probably about four, yeah, five fingers. And I don't think I need that. I probably need more like about three fingers. Okay. We're going to tie a knot. Remember that good old uh, apple twist I showed you in the other videos? You're going to put your finger on the knot. You're going to push it in. You are going to take this end and push up. Okay? What I want, the whole objective is to get that knot that's inside of the balloon into this stem portion of the balloon. You're going to grab that knot. Pull your finger out, twist it, okay, and then you can push that little knot back in to the balloon, and what you see is a little flower, okay, and the little girls, they really like this too, so that's what you got. So if you take that little flower and then you stuff it down into one of the full twists, one you want, and you just pull it on down, and now you have a teddy bear that's holding a flower. Now there's a lot of variations on this teddy bear too. I'm just straighten it out, whatever, so you know you're satisfied with the way it looks. Okay, you hand this to a little girl, they love it. All right, well. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful night. Bye.